Go overview video of my 1996 attack from Mars made by Bally. Uh, the cabinet was professionally uh, restored, redecaled by Little Shop of Games. There is not a scratch on it. These are the new decals also which are UV resistant. You can see brand new legs. That's a brand new coin door. I think they did that when they did the restoration. Again, no wrinkling. This is the original play field. All the plastics are in perfect condition with uh, plastic protect protectors. This is the highest wear area on an attack from Mars. It's that stroke of luck hole. Um, also these inserts in front of the uh, shield. Uh, this came with a cliffy when I got it. I removed the cliffy and underneath there's minimal wear. Um, the lowest I've ever seen on an attack from Mars. All the ramps are super clear. I think this one's been replaced prior to when I had it. There's another cliffy inside there protecting the saucer hole. Um, obviously it has the uh, inside cityscape. By the way, all these green stand-up targets have been replaced. They're all brand new. There's also a laser etched um, ball guide inside there as well. This is Attack from Mars. Other than, not, other than that, not a lot of mods on this. The, guy, the previous owner wanted to keep it as original as possible. I added a few LEDs. This is the shooter lane. Let's see if I can get a good view of it. Uh, there is Mylar over there now. But again, minimal ball, ball wear for the age of this machine. Okay, there's the date of manufacture, March 25th, 1996. So I think they started making these in 95. Um, anyway, there's the uh, coin door. Looks brand new. Um, all new flipper assemblies, both sides. The whole assemblies were replaced. Every switch, spring, flipper bat, everything's new. And this is the original Williams goodie bag. There's the part number. So spare parts, slingshots. Uh, this is the service plug. All the original manuals. Um, you just know you don't see these anymore. So there's a spare uh, drop target for underneath the saucer. Um, Pinball Pro subwoofer. Underside of the play field. This thing looks like new underneath, which is tells me it's got very low plays on it. Let's start it up. There's that color DMD display, which costs about $400. Also forgot to mention the translates, the 10, totally perfect. Uh, this also is in mint condition. These are very hard to find, these speaker panels. You can't replace them. Uh, they just don't make them anymore. Uh, custom cards. Designed by Brian Eddy. Masterful Lyman Sheets software, Doug Watson art, some of his best work ever. I'm trying to play this one handed, so it's going to be a short ball. Nothing can defeat us. Ah. 
close up of the ball drops again nowhere you, know, you just don't find play fields in original condition like this anymore there's the epilepsy warning from the strobe that is underneath the saucer which by the way works perfectly Valley attack from Mars Got to mention too, also included as a spare stand-up target. And these are the LEDs uh, which go in the saucer right here. One of them is out, uh, but it's hardly noticeable to me. But anyway, I bought a full set of um, replacements. That's included. This is a drop target under the saucer and this is another full set of manuals too that are laying here they're not even folded at all totally clean it's hard for me to pull them out and show you anyway thanks again for watching